Earlier today, Epic Games announced one of the weirdest decisions that they've made for Fortnite cosmetics ever. In an official statement, they said, the shop has evolved significantly to support multiple styles of cosmetics and items across games. So we're retiring the old Battle Pass Royale inspired system of colors and tags for cosmetic quality. Different series of cosmetics, such as the Icon series or Gaming Legends series, will still be there to help you find your favorite stuff. Now, as you can imagine, community is not very happy about this. And to be fair, I understand this. Fortnite cosmetics are one of the core, iconic elements that make the game unique. By tampering with the system that we've had in place for the last six years, it's going to be jarring to anyone that's played the game for any significant amount of time. However, if I'm being honest, Fortnite cosmetic rarity has always been a weird thing to me. Skins that are labeled as legendary in the item shop pop up more frequently than skins that are marked as common. Outside of a price aesthetic, rarity has always been pointless, and if I'm being honest, I never really paid attention to it. Generally speaking, the more expensive skins were always the ones that had more items bundled with them. Not to mention, in later seasons, we got locker and item shop bundles, which made certain cosmetic more affordable. So after a while, the price wasn't based on the rarity system, it was just about how much stuff you could bundle into one package. Now, does this mean that there's no intrinsic value to the old rarity system at all? In my opinion, no. It was a fun and easy way to understand the categorization and pricing of particular items. It added to Fortnite's identity and structure as a game. And that seems to be something that Epic is rapidly changing. We have seen so many random changes since Fortnite Chapter 5 started, and now that we've added this on top of everything else that we've seen over the last few months, it just seems like another pointless one change for the sake of there being change. This is at the heart of why the community is frustrated. It's like you're taking extra steps to remove another aspect of classic Fortnite. And as the weeks and months progress, Epic is consistently proving to us that they are trying to rearrange Fortnite's identity. We're taking what once was in place of something new, and the community is just tired of it. In my last video, I talked about how Fortnite has been doing this with Battle Royale and LTMs, but now it seems to have bled into cosmetics. Now specifically, when it comes to this cosmetic change, I think the question that we as a community need to be asking is, does this affect the game in some kind of negative way? From a gameplay standard, no. The only thing this has done is remove the previous organization standard for cosmetics as well as dissolve our understanding of how items should be priced. In terms of actual impact on the game itself, there is none. You still have the same cosmetics, as of right now they're still the same price, but their rarity just doesn't mean anything anymore, and in many ways it never has. Now what I'm about to say I don't want you to take out of context because I'm not talking about V-Bucks here, but people don't look at the value of a skin in terms of what rarity it is. Meaning that I don't look at a legendary skin or an epic skin and be like, oh man, that's something of value. Once again, some of the most sought after cosmetics are in the common or rare category. But regardless of any of that, why make this change in the first place? What is the point of stripping another aspect of Fortnite's identity away? I think Epic wants the community to start judging the price of cosmetics based upon what is being given, rather than be boxed into a price because of its rarity. If they want to price something a certain way, they're free to do that without the history of what other cosmetics within a certain category have been priced before. To sum it up simply, this gives them more flexibility with their pricing, which could be a good or a bad thing. Either cosmetics are gonna get more expensive, or some of them are gonna dip in price. We've seen Epic lower the prices on Festival and Rocket Racing cosmetics, but also we've seen the cost of cosmetics increase. Just last week, Pizzo ended his six year streak of buying new cosmetics because he didn't feel that the new Hail skin was worth it. I have purchased over the last six years, cell phones, tablets, consoles, controllers to obtain cosmetics in the game. 1,778 skins that I own, 1,155 tools, 526 gliders. I don't own everything in the game, but I try very hard to purchase everything brand new in the game. And for the first time ever, I'm not doing it. Rare outfit, 1,200, bare minimum, gotta have a backlink. Can't thank you guys enough, but I gotta let you know, this ain't cool. If I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure which direction Epic is going to move towards. In some ways, it does feel like we're getting less for more right now. But in other aspects, we have seen them reduce the cost of certain cosmetics in the item shop. This is what I will say to my audience. If you don't feel like something is worth it, or if you feel like the value of what you're getting is less than what it used to be before, don't buy. As I said in a video last week, Epic wants to make money, and the market will adjust. If people are not buying item shop cosmetics because the value just isn't there, or people don't think the value is worth it, the prices will go down. The same way that I believe item shops will get better because you can't keep recycling the same 20 or 30 skins over and over again and expect everybody to be able to rebuy them. But outside of hypothetical price increases or decreases, my overall stance on the matter is this. For me personally, cosmetics aren't the most important aspect of Fortnite. 
I enjoy playing the game in its various modes, but out of all of them, BR is number one to me. As a content creator and as a fan of Fortnite, I prioritize gameplay. And I'll be honest with you guys, a couple of years ago, I really stopped caring about buying Fortnite skins as much just because after you have so many, you realize there's only 10 to 15 that you use in rotation frequently. Some of my favorite IPs are currently in this game and they are the skins that I use the least. This doesn't mean I think that you shouldn't buy cosmetics or that they can't be important to you, but to me personally, I just don't have as big of a priority for them as I used to when Fortnite first came out. I've kind of become numb to the idea of buying cosmetics and this happened quite frankly years ago. Doesn't mean I don't buy new stuff from time to time, but it's definitely not as much as it used to be. My point is I don't care that much about this change personally, and it's too early to tell whether or not this is gonna be a good or a bad thing for the community overall. I think the people that are gonna be the most frustrated by this are the ones that really prioritize and appreciate the cosmetic system in Fortnite. If you like cosmetics, more than you like the actual game, the yes, you are actually gonna be hurt by this. For you guys, this is the equivalent of Fortnite removing Battle Royale and replacing it with open world. We're getting rid of our roots for some cheap crap that nobody asked for, and it honestly seems like a sneaky cash grab. I wanna see how this affects pricing the item shop, which I feel like is what all of this is building up to anyway. It seems to be the most logical outcome. And look, if some older cosmetics dip in price because the newer cosmetics give us so much more for the same value, I think that that's a net positive. But if they slowly start to increase the price of the cosmetics, then I think that people should just stop buying if they don't feel like it's worth the money. The only thing we can do right now is wait and see, guys, but hopefully this decision will end up being a net positive for the entire Fortnite community.